All right, so here we are on uh, March 13th at about uh, 6.30 p.m. And um, <clears throat> this is the day that uh, the CFF 92 millimeter telescope arrived. And um, so we're going to be opening the box shortly. Uh, first, we have proof of life. Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. So we know when this video was made. Uh, and just for comparative purposes, uh, in terms of the shipping, you <clears throat> you know that CFF leaves nothing to chance. Um, take a look at the size of this. Uh, the bottom box is the CFF 92 millimeter from Poland, um, and and this box here was used to ship um, the 81 millimeter uh, Vixen ED 81S uh, from Japan. So there's quite a bit of difference there, and I expect. As we go inside, we're going to find a lot of padding. Um, <clears throat> so let's get to it. You can hold it. Right, so this off. And I guess we'll use the scissors on these. And now we got some work cut out for us. Like we're in. Okay, so we open the box and none of those peanuts. Um, we have a nice layer of foam here. Whoa! Peanuts! <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I got a garbage bag. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Uh, you got a plastic bag? Yeah. But I've never had much success pouring peanuts in the plastic bags. Have you? Too much static. Yeah, there's too much static. It drives me. It's an insane process. Let's take a look in here. I can see the bag. Let's see if we can pull it out and leave the peanuts in the box. Uh oh, that may not work. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think there's a way to do this without getting peanuts all over the kitchen. Lift up, just cover up this lid. Pick this up. That helps. Bring the other one up. I'll hold these, you hold that. Okay. I'll help you stuff in. There That's you go. That's pretty smart. Now, how about that? Ooh. Wow. Buried alive. And so here we have the soft packing bag that is part of the package when you buy CFF refractor. I feel more foam down there. And don't feel any additional goodies. So I think uh, we can check later. We can put this down. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> You tried. Eh, it's not too bad. Maybe the dog will eat them. Alright, so now we're opening the container and there she is. Look at this. Oh my god. It's wrapped in more plastic. These are, uh, I think uh, Catalan Foose told me to do some screws. I requested some screws compatible with a Lazamani dovetail. Uh, because I ordered the scope with a Vixen, and so uh, we can pull it out. Um, 
This is a dovetail, yeah, there's the Vixen dovetail. So, uh, this has a very nice solid feel to it. Getting it out of here. I don't know. Dining room table? Put it on the couch or something. So. Yeah, that's your work well. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's astrophysics. That's a no. That's a department store scope. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Six hundred magnification. <laughs> well, it so happens that department store scopes. One of the easiest ways I have of mounting this thing is it's got a Vixen, Vixen clamp on top. Oh, okay. And I would like to use this together. If it ever gets clear, which it never will. I ruined the entire summer by buying this book. Oh, forget about the Adirondacks. <laughs> you got a pinch. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Ah, we got her out. And so this is the 9 F69 in all its glory. The uh, dew shield is currently retracted. What a feather touch three inch focus, really. Look at that thing. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that a beaut? Pretty heavy. So let's see if we can get it up here without incident. That would go viral if I dropped it at this Oh yeah, it would. <laughs> That's approximately okay. It's amazing how leverage works. All right. Uh, how is it in deck? Um, well, deck is very problematic. Uh, Surprisingly, not bad. Not bad. Good enough for what we got to do. Yep. All right. So we want to pull. Oh God. That's on there good. There we go. Talk about vacuum pack. So. Oops. Just the well, ship screws out or just pulls it in and out. It just pulls in and out. I think. Jeez. That's all it is. Okay, it's just friction. So, it's too bad we can't put the logo on this side, but, uh... How's the optics look? Uh, well, they look immaculate. I don't know how to get, uh... All right, you need a light, a light, but... We can come down here. How's that? You see something, but... Yeah. Looks better in person. <laughs> the video. Yeah. yeah. It looks nice. Very wow. So, uh, this looks like it's definitely there's no marks of any kind. This looks like this stuff has arrived in okay. good shape. This okay. seems to be, oh, no, wait a minute. This okay. seems to be a bit tight. There's a thing down here. Yep. Yeah, that's very smooth now. It's amazing, just a small adjustment makes it tight. I'll rack all the way out, see how far it goes out. Actually, no, it's pretty good. If I do say so. So you have uh, 60, 
Well, I can tell you, I've got uh, I got ninety millimeters. Ninety millimeters. Okay. Uh, um, here's these screws. That's that end cap. I tell you, you can remove and put the astrophysics. Yes, I want to. Um, I'm going to confess at this point that I broke down and ordered one of those. Oh, okay. Uh, I just anticipated that the, the scope would arrive in good shape. So you can have this one. That's the exact same. <coughs> Yeah. Visual back. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, more finger friendly. Well, this isn't bad. Oh, so, all right. Well, maybe we should stop the recording at this point. There we go. Um, so this looks like it's going to be a fantastic addition to my personal. Uh,